So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to lock a certain URL or file path on Cloudflare. So as long as you've got a website proxied through Cloudflare, or if you use their R2 storage hosting service, then you can easily do this. So as you can see, I'm on the Cloudflare dashboard, and then you need to go to the R2 section if you're wanting to do this for R2. And then if you've not got a bucket already, you need to click on the button that says create bucket and then give it a name so I'll just call this locked files and then I'll put the domain name on the end just so that we know what it is and then create bucket and then all you need to do from there is go into the settings tab and then link it to the domain that you want so I'll just click on the connect domain button under the settings tab and then type in locked files dot into there press on continue and then connect the domain and it will automatically add the DNS record to that. So if I now go to that subdomain, you'll see that it will allow me to access the files that are on there. So you can see, there we go. So if I were to create a new text file and just call it test file, then I can go into the objects section and then just go to select from computer files and then go to the file. So double click the file, it'll then upload that. And then if I just add it, test file.txt to the end of that, you'll see I'll get the file. So at the moment, anybody can access this. So if you want to restrict that, then you need to go to the zero trust option on the left sidebar, which will then take you to this page. From there, you need to go to the access tab and then go to applications and create a new application. So you need to select the self hosted option on the left and then just give it a name. So I'll just call it the same as what the bucket is called. And then you need to select the subdomain. So we'll just do locked files, select the domain, and then you can also lock it down to a specific path as well. But let's just say that we want to block all access on this subdomain apart from people that have access to it. And then you can go down to the bottom and click on next. And then just make sure that you give it a name here as well. So we'll just call it the same thing. And then here is where you need to select the email addresses that you want to be given access to. So if I just go to this selector drop down and choose emails, I can enter my email. So if I just put in here, contact at ridercraigie.com as an example. And if you scroll down, you've got a box for additional settings. You can turn on purpose justification, which means that the user will have to give you a reason to us why they want to access this file. So I'm gonna leave that off in this case. I'll click on next and then scroll to the bottom again, click add application. And you'll see now we've got this locked files application here. Now if I reload that page, it'll be locked and it'll go to cloudflareaccess.com. So if I just type in here the email which I predefined, contact at ridercraigie.com and then click on send me a code, it'll send a code to my email. So as you can see on the right, the code has just come through. So if I just copy and paste the six digit code into there, you will see it will then let me have access to the file. But if I were to copy and paste this link into a private window and open that up, you'll see it'll just redirect back to that lock page because it's all locked down. So it's as easy as that really, there's nothing else to it. Um, there are some of the settings that you can tinker with, but it's not necessary, that's up to you. There's other ways of logging in. But if you want to just lock some files or lock a website down and just give access to your team or your staff or just your friends, then you don't want anybody else to see it. If it's a private project, then that's the good way to do it. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.